Well, hello, this is Burns Hargis with another edition of Inside OSU, and today we have a very special guest, Ann Udall. Ann, yeah, thank, thank you for you. joining us I'm and glad coming to, be to campus here. and being on Inside OSU. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Ann Udall is the chairman of the Udall Foundation, the Morse and Stewart Udall Foundation. And uh, you've uh, made a significant, uh, a significant impact on Oklahoma State University. Yes, I'm um, delighted to be here to honor your Udall scholars this year. You actually have four, wow. which puts you in very high cotton country. It's Who else? very impressive. Who else? The only other schools that have ever had four Udall scholars at any given time are Yale, Stanford, Penn. And I think Montana is the other one. So you all well, need to be very, very that's, proud of yourselves. That's heady company. It speaks to the quality of your student body. Well, and I know I know uh, Bob Grauman, who runs our scholars yeah. program, is a great coach for these yeah. students. Before we talk a lot about the Udall Foundation, I want to go back a little bit because I think it, it's a, it's a good foundation for understanding uh, your emphasis. Uh, your father, Morris Udall, Mo Udall, he was affectionately known as. And your uncle, you know all this already, I'm doing it for them, <laughs> as well as Stuart Udall. I assume you're doing it. Yeah, that. one would hope. And, so. uh, and uh, Stuart Udall was Secretary, he was in Congress and Secretary of the Interior under John Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson. And was probably one of the, one of the uh, first real active uh, and effective environmentalists. And was the was he the author of the Clean Air Clean Air and Water Act? He was. He species? yeah. He was very. That happened all during his time when he was the in the secretary. And he and Mo actually, my dad made a very effective team on some of the major legislation that passed during that time, environmental legislation, Clean Air Act. I, I've read that it all. It kind of had a. Uh, a surprising beginning because it, 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 it revolved around the, was it the Great Swamp in New Jersey? You know, you probably know more about this than I do. Is that well, true? I mean, I think so. Yeah, I, I may great. have that wrong, but yeah. I think it was a swamp in yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, which is not very and the rest nice is history, about New yeah. Jersey. But he, no, he, it was one of the first instances where uh, residents stood up to protect a natural habitat. Uh -huh. And of course, wow. uh, he came to the uh, he came to the aid of those residents, yeah. and and that kind of maybe was the genesis of the environmental yeah. movement in America. Well, the thing that I love to think about when I think about that period of time and that incredible body of legislation that the two of them really helped see was um, that a lot of that happened during President Reagan's time. So this mm -hmm. whole sense that you know you can't have bipartisanship around environmental issues is just when you think about what happened during that time, you had a Republican president, Democratic Congress, and they just did this incredible stuff together. Well, you know, I wonder if it isn't so, something that Westerners have in common. Yeah. You, you all are from Arizona. Yeah. Uh, of course, your dad and, and Stuart Udall were both Arizona congressmen. Yeah. Uh, Reagan was, even though yeah. he grew up in Illinois, ended up a Westerner. Yeah. And, uh, and there's just something about the, the land and, and, and Westerners, isn't there? Yeah, it's interesting you were saying that because I was thinking about some of my comments that I'm going to make um, to the scholars and to your Lee Wentz kids around, you know, I do think these values are in the West. I bet you all have them in Oklahoma, oh, yeah, too. Very much it's, so. it's, a, it's sort of getting beyond this narrow definition, and it's more about can we figure out the common good? Can we work together? Because we're all in this together. Um, I was hearing like some of your really, really strong advocates on campus, for example, around environmental protection are your ag students and people who exactly. really care about the land. Yeah, there's a lot of work in uh, clean air, yeah. water, uh, food, yeah. and, and all the rest. Uh, the other thing uh, that's important, I think, in, in your father and your uncle's background is their, uh, their attachment to Native Americans. Yes, and this has been a very strong um, part of their tradition, their history. They grew up in a very small town in Arizona, St. John's. And I think there was a lot of interface between the pioneers and the Native Americans. And I think that that just stuck with both of them. In, uh, uh, I, know, I know your dad was elected in 1961, served for 30 years. Uh, but uh, he, many may not know now that he ran for president in 1976 and almost won the Democratic he came nomination. Very close. Dad was really the front front runner until Jimmy Carter entered, and everyone said, "Oh, you know, don't pay attention to him. A Southern governor doesn't have a chance." And right. you know, the rest was um, 
history. And then, as, I, as we said, uh, Mo Udall served for uh, 30 years. And uh, Congress honored him in a very special, and, and Stuart Udall, yeah. but uh, honored him in a very special way, yeah. didn't they? Which is how the, the foundation came to be um, in uh, about 1994 or five, they, a number of congressmen, both senators and representatives, decided that his career was distinguished enough that the way to honor him was to start a foundation, which is the Udall Foundation. Which, which, is, which focused on his passion. Yes, exactly. And it focuses on uh, providing scholarships and fellowships to both undergraduates. Um, we do a little bit in, with graduates, but our primary focus is undergraduates, Udall scholars, who are studying in any field that is related to dad's legislative accomplishments. So environmental policy, Native American, health um, are some of the areas. And that's how the foundation came to be. And there are 80 scholars 80 a year, scholars right? picked every year. It's highly- $5,000. Yes, $5,000. Highly competitive. I mean, very, very competitive. Um, how, how many applicants would you have I think we had last year close to 650 to 700. Wow. And, and what, would be, what would be the, the required qualifications. The required to be qualifications is you have to be studying in a field that would be, uh, that is related to any of those general broad areas. So mm -hmm. it it's very diverse. You can have someone studying biology and be able to apply if they can show that they're studying it from an environmental perspective. Um, significant grade point average, community some sort of involvement, very mm -hmm. significant involvement. Um, and they have to write an essay about dad and sort of how his career, they have to pick something out about his career, or his life, and just sort of write about it in terms of how they see it. And then the other requirement is that they come to Tucson for five days and in August, which is, you know, there you go. <laughs> um, as I say, we get really good hotel rates during that time. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> and, but they're absolutely required to be there. And that is in order for us to create a network um, of Udall scholars, which is now bearing unbelievable fruit nationally because they're all, all of these guys are going into these remarkable positions, either in sort of public policy, running for office, nonprofit work, and they stay connected because they're Udall scholars. And, and so the, the, the scholars from all years <clears throat> continue to interact? Yeah, we, we really set that up as part of our mission is to really keep them connected because we believe that Moe's legacy and now that Stu, that we've changed the name of the foundation to honor Stu as well, um, that their legacy gets carried through the, the works and lives of the Udall scholars. As you said earlier, we we're fortunate to have four yeah. Udall scholars uh, out of 80, yeah. which is pretty good. Uh, well, it's better than pretty good. It's yeah, great. it's impressive. I would imagine that part of the joy of your job, because it's the same feeling I get when I get around the Udall scholars, is how much hope and optimism they bring to whatever they do. Um, and it makes me hopeful and optimistic. Well, well you, will, you will enjoy these, uh, these four students, and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you all could see the passion and uh, enthusiasm that yeah. these four have for uh, yeah. Uh, for the Udall Foundation's yeah. uh, purposes and, and uh, admission. Uh, we, we're lucky to have a lot of scholars, but none we're more proud of than our Udall yeah, scholars. Well, thank you. And you are, you are uh, you've, it's very special to have you here. Yeah, well, I'm honored, and um, I want you to know that this is my first official visit to any campus. Oh yeah, my. so we'll add that to the this list is of a first. Yeah, exactly. Um, the whole honors program and the whole way you all are emphasizing academic excellence here is very impressive. We really do uh, emphasize that, but we also emphasize uh, the activities outside the classroom. Yeah. And we want the students to to have that experience of working as a team and do, making a difference. And uh, as with everything else, you help yourself by helping others. Absolutely. And I think they, they benefit Absolutely. a lot. Well, I hope you enjoy your time on campus here. I already and, have. And we're, uh, we're going to show you all around. We're, we're very proud of our campus. Uh, it's beautiful, this, 
it, uh, what I've seen already. This oh, color great. orange thing, though, there's a lot of orange around. Did you notice? Here. Oh, how, I mean, what every. You pick up? Yeah. That is our color. <laughs> yeah. You're very perceptive. Thank man. you. Wow. I was sort of very impressed. I was like turning around. So, yeah. And I hear Friday's even more. Uh, yeah, well, we're, we're colorful. We're going to get you some more <laughs> stuff now that you're. In fact, we're going to make you an honorary. I, uh, I cannot Oklahoma wait. State cowgirl. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very we appreciate much. You yeah, being thank here. you, President Hargis. Well, that's the uh, that's the end of this edition of very special Inside OSU. We'll see you next time.